Okay, let's give it a go, see how it goes. Hello and welcome, I'm Mikey Campling, uh, an independent self-published author, and I'm having a go at doing a video, everybody else is, so uh, let's do one as well, and sit back and laugh as I make a hopeless mess of it. Okay, I've got rather a Heath Robinson uh, affair rigged up here, so um, apologies if the sound quality is bad and the video angles are wrong, and the cluttered background you can see I'm sure is, is probably not the thing you're meant to do, but never mind. Okay, just going to give a quick uh, little writing tip today. I don't know who I am to go around giving people writing tips, but there you are. It's nice to share, isn't it? And maybe something I say will be useful to somebody. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about characters and uh, letting them do the work. So I think don't overthink your storytelling. If you're passionate about your story, and you will need to be if you're going to sit and write 18, 90,000 words about it, then let your characters tell that story for you. Don't force them to do it in some strange, unnatural way. Um, get to know them, get under their skin. Um, think, what are these people like? What are they like? Not just as in, as they are they tall, dark and handsome, but in fact, it doesn't matter what they look like, I don't think. It's... What are they like in those lonely hours at four o'clock in the morning when they can't sleep? Okay, what, what are the what are their neuroses, their bad habits? Um, what are the, are the bits of emotional baggies that they're carrying around since they were 12 and somebody thumped them on the nose? It's just all these little things that I think you should try and do as if you were trying to get to know a, a person if you'd moved to a new town or you'd started a new college or something and there you are you, you don't know people and you're, you're bumping into them and saying hi and how are you and what do you do and things like that and take it from there um, imagine you are having a conversation with them or perhaps a, a correspondence or a series of emails um, if you wanted to be a bit sort of um, thorough about it I guess you could even sit and do those emails and have them right back in character you know you, you can play around with them but you're going to spend a lot of time with them and they're going to spend a lot of time in your head and you're going to spend a lot of time in theirs um, so you know make friends with them in to some degree and at least try to get to know them when you're getting there that is when you do Hitchcock's famous put a bomb under the table thing and this is when you give them some problems but I don't think they have to be apocalyptic level problems. I don't think they have to be a virus that is uh, turning everybody into flesh eating zombies as so many of them seem to apparently. Um, <laughs> and I don't think it has to be, you know, a bank heist or a tragic love affair or a bite on the neck from a vampire. I think it's hard to identify with that stuff. Um, sure, you might be writing the next um, bank heist vampire book and um, just invented a new genre. Oh, well done me. And, <laughs> unless somebody's already done a, a, you know, the vampire bank robbers. Maybe I should do that. That sounds great. Don't do that. That's my copyright. Big C. Yes. Okay. Um, oh, just, just give them little things. Um, give them a headache. Um, give them an argument with a spouse. Um, take away their parking space when they're when they're late give them a summer cold um, give them a, a crying baby to stand next to in a really long slow queue at the supermarket um, and then when they get there take their wallet away from them so they can't pay or cancel their credit card just when they're buying something really important like a plane ticket they need to get somewhere you know okay that's a fairly drastic thing but just minor things, you know, give them, have fun with them, make them hungry, make them irritable, make them tired, make them a bit tipsy, um, make them excited because they've just found um, 50p on the floor or, uh, you know, a dollar on the floor or something. Um, send them to an unsuccessful party. That's quite a common thing in a lot of fiction, isn't it? But, you know, why not play around with that idea? Um, have them have a barbecue and set it to rain part way through. Um, you know, again, just for, for that thing that people can identify with and will, perhaps will empathise with your characters if they're suffering with some of the pains and struggles that we have in, in normal life. Um, give them a disappointing sandwich, you know, as so many of them are, um, and a glass of water that turns out to be tepid. Um, break the air conditioning on their car just on the hottest day of the year when they're in a tailback. Um, <laughs> it seems to go on forever. Um, 
tell their bosses to to cut their salaries um stub their toe just when they're you know going to the loo in the middle of the night or something something unexpected you know or, or perhaps um as they as they lean in for the romantic kiss you know stub their toe on something um wait till they're having insomnia and and ring them up in the middle of the night um that kind of thing these are the things that happen to us you know the car alarms go off when just on that day that we're tired um there's always something wrong with the the car or the public transport when you really really need to get somewhere you, you, you know get stuck behind a a really slow moving lorry or a tractor or something these things happen to us and i think um they add a bit of color to your characters and then you really get to know them you know it's it's easy to say you you know somebody when everything's going swimmingly and they've won the lottery and got the girl and um successfully uh, bitten someone in the neck during a strange vampire bank heist but it's when things go wrong and the little things that we discover whether they are a calm person whether they are, take it out on the nearest person to them or whether they you know lose their temper whether they um whether they can deal with it um and whether the other characters around them can deal with it at the same time so that's what i have to say really for today have a play about with your characters but just remember this, um, enjoy it, play with them, you know, torture your characters, give them an easy ride, whatever you prefer, but enjoy it, have fun messing about with them and messing about with their heads. They're not real, they aren't going to come and uh, punch you in the nose for these things that you're doing to them. So enjoy it and that motivation will keep you going and you will need some motivation because it's quite a long haul if you're going to write a, a full-length piece of fiction. So um, that's all I'm going to say for the moment. Hopefully this will be okay and I'll post it up on my blog and other places that are mikeycampling.com. If you've got a writing tip uh, that you'd like to comment, you can comment on YouTube, I guess, or on my site uh, or anywhere else. Uh, you could even send one along to me and I will post it up on my blog. I don't particularly want any um, po-face type, you know, uh, holier than thou Shakespearean literary sort of stuff but if you've got something fairly entertaining you can say in a light-hearted way that would be great and also don't bother if you've just got a really good quote from Stephen King or some other brilliant writer because everybody else has already publicized those quotes quite well enough thank you but I'd love to hear what you have got to say about your writing your characters what keeps you going what makes it good for you and hopefully what makes it good for your reader. What have you found that works? What have you found that doesn't? Um, they'd be really great things to share. And if you send them to me at my site, I'll post uh, any up that I particularly like. Um, I'll probably spread them out over a period of time, depending on how many we get, if any. And um, of course, we can put a link back to your site. So if you contact me on my site at mikeycampling.com, um, that'd be great. So I'll sign up for there, keep writing, keep scribbling and tapping away at the keys and uh, take care. Bye.